Good morning, everybody. This is Serge Bogosian, FHT Sports, with your Friday, April the 13th, um, NHL playoff wrap-up from last night. Um, it's Friday the 13th. If you guys believe in that, it's bad luck. If your team's playing tonight, maybe it's not going to be a good night for you. Or if you don't believe in that stuff, it's just another Friday. Um, we're still rocking the playoff beard. We're not sure what's going to happen. Um, if uh, next game for the Leafs doesn't go well, we might we might have to take that off. But let's start with the Leafs and the Bruins. Um, didn't look like the Leafs were ready for this, to be honest. Um, they didn't come out very strong. The Bruins attacked. The first got the first like six, seven shots on goal. The Leafs haven't played um, a significant game in the regular season this year, probably for the last three weeks, maybe not longer. Their fate was pretty much set. They were going to finish third in the division. It was just a matter of who they were going to play. They actually have to wait till the last game and the last uh, period of the re of the regular season where Boston lost and uh, ended up playing the Leafs instead of uh, ready for Tampa. Anyways, not a good start for the Leafs. A um, couple of controversial things in this game. Nazem Kadri, um, one of our top better goal scorers and around the league I understand he's not liked because he's a good player he agitates people like that other guy on the other side Marchand um, he's been known to have some questionable hits he had a pretty questionable hit um, it looks like he's gonna get suspended we'll find out later today there was a bit of a context leading to that he wasn't happy with Wingles diving and causing a penalty on him earlier then he felt that Wingles um, had a pretty dirty elbow to the head of Mitch Marner anyways we don't justify the hit on Cad by Kadri he's gonna get suspended it's probably well deserved um, Brad Marchand was out there that you know his job is to agitate get under people's skin and he's really good at that as much as we don't like him and a lot of people don't like him around the league the, the guy's a great player he scored a goal um, he also uh, had an interesting you know if you have a chance, Google Marshawn licking Komarov. He basically went out there and licked his neck just to piss him off. Um, it's weird, but it, he does stuff like that, and it gets under people's skins and sometimes seems to work. Anyways, 5-1, to one, Marshan, Bacchus, Pasternak, Corrali, and Kreji with the goals for the Bruins. Not much happening on the Leafs side. Not much. Um, they had their chances on the power play. They couldn't get the puck in there. Zach Hyman with a beautiful goal who kept it close uh, to tie up the game 1-1. However, it was all Boston after that. Bruins take the first game of the series, 1-0. Tomorrow night, the Leafs will be back. Next, we got the heavily favored first seed, Tampa Bay, hosting New Jersey. Tampa got off to a really quick start, scored a few goals right away, and uh, Jersey could just not recover from that. They got, a, they got a phenomenal team. Palat led the way with a goal and two assists. Taylor Hall had a nice goal for the Devils. They made it, I believe it was 3-2 at one point, until the Lightning put it away in the third. So 5-2 final. Um, Tampa over New Jersey. Um, uh, first game, 1-0 Tampa. Next, we're going to go to another heavy favorite for number one seed. A lot of people have Nashville and Tampa going to the finals. Possibly. We don't, you know, it's a long season series over Colorado. Colorado came out pretty good in this game, scored a scored a quick goal to go up 1-0. The crowd in Nashville, of all the games I watched last night anyway, the Winnipeg crowd was pretty good, but of all the um, the games I watched, the Nashville crowd is just pretty amazing. Um, they were chanting all night, um, ragging on uh, Bernier, uh, the goalie. Um, they're all wearing yellow, the home color. By the way, let me know how you guys think about this. In Winnipeg, okay, Everyone in the stadium is in the arena is wearing white. Okay, it looks great. It looks amazing. However, Winnipeg isn't wearing white. They're the home team. They're wearing their dark colors. Minnesota is wearing white. So it's it looks a little odd where the home team is wearing white and it looks like they're supporting the road team. Now, back in the 80s and um, early 90s when the home teams wore white, this is where it was prominent in the playoffs where Everyone would come to the rink wearing white, cheer on your home team, call the white out. Really cool, actually. It looks really cool when everyone participates, but it's a little weird when the home team's wearing white and the opposition is wearing white. It looks like you're cheering for the opposition, but in Nashville, it, was, it looked beautiful last night. Everyone's wearing yellow. They're very loud in there. They have the chants going on in unison. Very impressive. You wouldn't think um, 
that like Nashville historically is not a hockey hockey hotbed like in the north and um, some other places in the, in the U.S. and Canada, but they got a great fan base. They they want that cup. They came they came very close last year, and uh, they had a good start. So the game was back and forth until the third period. But um, Philip Forsberg scored two two great goals in the third, especially one of them was a phenomenal goal to lead the um, the Nashville Predators over the Colorado Avalanche, five to two. Nashville takes game one, another home team taking it, uh, taking it. So far, all the home teams last night won. Now, Columbus and Washington. I think um, last this was probably the best game of the night. It was the closest game of the night. Obviously, went to overtime. It was a great game. Columbus started off not good. Washington um, got up two nothing after Josh Anderson got a five and a game misconduct with a major. And uh, the Capitals cap capitalized. How about that? The Capitals capitalized on the power play. Scored two goals on the power play. Went up 2 nothing. Columbus didn't give up, however. And, um, yeah, they fought back all game. Scored a goal with five minutes to go in the third period to force overtime. We had our first overtime game in the playoffs. Now, for those of you who are just casual hockey fans, there are no shootouts in the NHL playoffs. There are no three on there's no three on three. It's a full five on five. You play till somebody scores. There is full intermissions um, between between the periods. Um, yeah, so it wasn't too long when, until Panarin, the bread man, beautiful goal. He also had two assists on the game, scored the winner. Uh, great pickup in the offseason. He's been having a phenomenal year. And he gets the W for the Blue Jackets. First road team to win. Uh, last night, anyway. Anyways, the last game of the night was the Battle of California. The Sharks and the Ducks. Uh, these two teams know each other very well. They play each other quite a bit in the playoffs. I've had a lot of battles. Um, and uh, San Jose came to play in this one. It was a pretty close game until Evander Kane. Uh, we talked about this. If you watch my preview, what did I say? He was going to be the difference. Um, anyways, first playoff game... I believe in NHL, or of, out of active players, he had one of the longest streaks, uh, over 500 games in the NHL without playing a playoff game. But uh, last night was his first playoff game. He he scored two goals, uh, led the team. Uh, Brett Burns, Brett Burns, the beard, fear the beard. If you think my beard is Brett Burns, is 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 the bomb. Anyways, he led the way. Two goals by Kane. Burns with the third. Um, the Sharks take this one three to nothing. Uh, Jones with the shutout, a 25 save shutout. He had a great game in that. Um, yeah, so it was it was it was a great night overall. So Boston wins, Tampa wins, Columbus wins, Nashville wins, and the Sharks take round one of the Battle of California, uh, three to nothing. By the way, those that series, I don't. It's gonna go seven, seven games. Sharks and Anaheim. Don't don't count. If your team lost last night, it's a long. You have to win four. You can't win it. This is not this is not NFL. I'm sorry. I know NFL. It's a hard to play a game, but you're not one and out. It's a battle. Seven game series, and you're not out of it. Home home advantage is a big thing. If your team can get one on the road and go home with a with a split, you're you're doing well. Anyways. This is our Friday morning wrap up. Please join us every morning where we're gonna we're gonna talk about some of the controversial issues from the previous night. We're gonna go over some of the plays, and we're just basically gonna wrap up the night. Um, playoffs are back tonight. Philly, Pittsburgh, Vegas, and Winnipeg. Um, three games tonight, I believe. Anyways, make sure you watch us tomorrow morning. Well, we will, you know, review. And um, talk about the previous night's action. This is Serge Bogosian, FHD Sports, signing off. Enjoy the action, ladies and gentlemen.